Spencer. You know, I just wish you'd said a bit better example. Well, I, I, I do hope I'm not intruding. Uh, <laughs> quiet evening at home, so. Uh, <coughs> the the, uh, <clears throat> the wife uh, sent me round. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you see, we're in a quandary at our place. <laughs> in fact, it's uh, more than a quandary, it's almost a mutiny. Mm. <laughs> What's the trouble? One of your lads, uh, uh, Nigel, Nigel, I believe, has just phoned us to say that you and your lady wife mm. won't be coming round to our place tonight and that the party here may well be cancelled. Party? Well, y yes, the, the kids' party here the, this evening. Mm. You see, our two youngsters, Tyrone and, and, and Natalie. Mm. Yeah, well, they, they've been invited, you see, and they've got all ready. And they've even had a bath. <laughs> Mrs. Benson and myself have been preparing for this evening for ages. My wife has been up to her elbows in devil kidneys and prune surprise all afternoon. Yeah, I, I've been working awfully hard on, on a gallon of fruit punch. Oh. I, I've been straining me pips for hours. You know. <laughs> well, we, we've had a bit of a family problem here, Mr. Mm. Benson. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh no, it, it, it can't be a patch on the one I'm having round at our place, no. no. The kids are revolting. <laughs> uh, the wife has just dumped a dish of horses' duvers in the dustbin and locked herself in the loo. I, I do hope you can confirm that this has all been a mistake. Uh, Arthur, Arthur, is it? Arthur? Uh, well, uh, Beryl? Oh, under the circumstances, we, we can't very well call it off now. No, I think Nigel probably made a mistake. In fact, I know he has. Well, don't worry, we'll be round in about half an hour, Mr. Benson. <laughs> yeah. So, in fact, it's all on and you can go and inform your... Yeah. Thanks a lot, Dad. I, I do appreciate that. Well done, Dad. Have a nice time this evening, then. <laughs> oh, well, I, I am relieved. Mm. <laughs> well, I look forward to seeing you both later on, then, eh? Mm. <laughs> later on. Mm. Oh, yes. Well, I'll, uh, I'll get back to my place and uh, tell my mob the glad times. Right, right, right. Could you give us a hand with sandwiches, Mum? Oh, yes, Nigel. Very, very clever. Well, I just phoned to say that you changed your mind and the whole thing was off. It was the least I could oh, do. Oh, it's very thoughtful of you. But next time I want a social session. Someone give me a hand with this door. Thank you. Don't mention it. Is Tony Lewis coming? Yes. Oh, good. I've always had a thing about him. <laughs> well, he's not staying for the festivities, then. Obviously not. He's gone, thank goodness. He's what? Raymond? Raymond? Raymond has escaped. Well, don't worry. <laughs> She'll probably go back to him in a few days. Probably is not good enough, Beryl. Excuse me, Arthur. And as we're going out shortly, don't just stand there. Don't get changed or you'll be late. you doing there, Dad? Waiting for your mother to finish getting changed. Oh, I'm sorry about me and Raymond. Mm. I had to get away to think things over. It's so difficult. Living with other people can be difficult, can't it? Yeah. You find out how <laughs> difficult other people can be mm. and the difficulties that that causes. Yes, it's, uh, it's difficult. Yes. <laughs> you won't mind if I move back into my old room? Uh, oh, thank you, Daddy. It's only for the time being. Paul's brought my suitcases round from next door. I'll tell Mum you said to get uh, No, on. no, don't do that or she'll get... Arthur! Difficult. Are you ready? Uh, when you are, my dear. But I won't be long. And have a word with the kids about this party. As we're not going to be here, I don't want them taking advantage. Good idea. That's a jolly good idea. Come on. Daddy wants to talk to you. Come on, pronto, pronto. Now, your mother wishes me to have a word with you about your conduct during our absence this evening. Oh, how, 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 I don't think it's necessary to instruct four overgrown adults in the niceties of not getting slosh, not indulging in lewd behaviour, and not wrecking the joint. Dad, I told how, you it's how, not how, however, 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 as we are all gathered here tonight, 
not, I might add, with my enthusiastic approval, there are a few things that need to be stated and understood. Yes, but we're not... Yes, okay. I, can I just I, say... I, 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 I'll do the stating and you, you do the understanding, all right? <laughs> now, <clears throat> until you find alternative accommodation, we will be sorting out who pays for what, who eats what, and whether they pay for it. Who lives here? How much? And when I'm going to get it? Dad, I'm waiting to go to college. I pay, Mum, what, what I can get, out of what little pocket money I get. Get a temporary job, there. Get a temporary job. I mean, what you pay now is irrelevant on the grounds that what is your pocket money now was my hard-earned money in the first place. I'll pay my own yeah, way, well, we'll, but we'll, really... we'll be sorting you all out individually. But in the meantime, do your shares of the household chores, be nice to one another, and try to avoid getting on my wig. Arthur? Or your mother's presuming she had one. <laughs> yes, dear? What have you been telling them? A few home truths, love. Like, 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 for example, put that apple back. What? Put, put that up. That's my apple. Put it back. <laughs> what is he talking about? Well, it's the about? principle of the thing, so It might only be an apple here and a ham sandwich there, but it's a drain on resources which is not being paid for, so put it back. Arthur, he bought all that fruit. Paul buys his own food. In fact, the chicken salad you had for dinner came from Paul's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, son. It was delicious. <laughs> Have a banana. <laughs> Is that it? Yes, yes, carry on. But remember, there will be no loutishness, excessive boozing, or lecherous immorality in this house tonight. Of course not, Dad. You're going out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Beryl, let's quit while I'm still slightly ahead. Half a dozen people. He never was very good at maths. Hi. Very party. I'm Melanie. Who are you? Well, actually, I'm the father. The father of what? Nigel, Paul, Tracy, Lorraine. Shall I go on? You can't possibly be. You're not old enough. Oh, oh come on. Seriously. Oh, yeah, I'm not old enough, but I am. I'm married very young. Yes, I married when I was about 11. Oh, <laughs> oh this is, uh, this is my, um, my Beryl, my, my wife Beryl, Melanie. Lucky you. <laughs> what a nice girl. <laughs> it's one o'clock in the morning, Arthur, and I think they should all go home. Yes, you're right. You go on up and I'll get this shindig wound up immediately. And uh, tell them to turn that music off. Right. Nigel? Hello, Dad. Hello. Yeah. Well, a few more people turned up, yeah. actually. So where's Mum? Gone to bed. Oh, well, it's a bit crowded, so I expect you'll be yeah. doing the same. Nigel, 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 Nigel. Excuse me, Dad, I've got a sick female in the kitchen. Sick? Too many, uh... Oh, I warned you, didn't I? Oh, isn't that typical, the younger generation? Too much to drink, can't help. Look, young lady, young lady. Oh, young lady, oh, myself! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel a lot better now. Let's get back to the action. What are you doing here? Having a good time. What are you doing? <laughs> Trevor isn't here, I think. No, 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 he's animal city. <laughs> Michael, he said you'd only been a minute. Um. Well, um, I'll be outside by the car, waiting. <laughs> Now the car keys, Dad, please. No. We're not going anywhere. She came on a moped. Oh. Oh. See you in. Oh. Ah. Hello, Pop. Back already. Bring this thing to a rapid conclusion. What's with Roy? Well, Raymond's on the phone for her. Raymond, I want him. Excuse me. Excuse me, Miss. Hi, Dad. No, Raymond. It's a party. No, I'm not celebrating. What? Oh, you want me to come back? Yes. Well, I... I'm sorry, no. I'm quite happy here, thank you. Good night. Did you want something, Dad? No. Arthur, are you doing something about all this? Uh, ye yes, dear. Yes, I am. Yes. Yes, I think I will. <laughs> Pardon me, miss. Would you care for this dance? Oh, why not? Oh, what the hell are you doing? Act 
acting on the very old principle, darling. And what's that? If you can't beat them, 